Pumalanga. Staying with International Nurses Day, we've been speaking to nurses on the front lines about their fears and their anxieties. And to discuss now, we're joined by the national spokesperson of the Health and Other Services Personnel Trade Union of South Africa, or HASPERSA, that's Kevin Halama. And Mr. Halama, thank you for, for joining us. How are your members feeling this International Nurses Day? Uh, good evening, Francis. Um, uh, thank you for having me. Uh, firstly, uh, I would just like to say, um, on behalf of Hospesa, we, uh, we honour our nurses. Um, we feel that the heartbeat of this health uh, sector, uh, they are also the thread that is uh, holding the sector together. And we take our hats off to them. And, and uh, this uh, special day for them, uh, we, we took it upon ourselves to encourage them, to give them strength, uh, to, to, to fight on, especially in the midst of, of COVID-19. There, there must be huge anxiety out there. Uh, do you think nurses do feel uh, appreciated for what they're doing? Uh, from the reports that we are getting, Francis, is that uh, a lot of the nurses, they feel unappreciated uh, by their employers, uh, mainly for the fact that uh, they're still, uh, we're still having challenges with the lack of PPE, uh, the lack of resources, as well as uh, some are working in poor, in poor infrastructure uh, facilities. And, and we raise this with the employer, and uh, the employer is very reluctant uh, to, to address these issues. But the other main, main uh, concern that, that, that has been raised by our nurses is that uh, there seems to be a lack of appreciation and a lack of uh, recognition coming from government in that there still isn't a special COVID-19 risk allowance that is being implemented. And even till today, nothing has been uh, um, announced with regards to the salary increases of public servants, of which we know that a lot of them is nurses. And, and that is, uh, is causing more harm and, and it's making them feel a bit down to, to carry on with this fight and feel that government is really not coming uh, to the party with showing them uh, uh, recognition and support. Yeah. And you spoke about uh, the equipment. Where are we in terms of, of PPE? We hear that uh, a lot is being delivered, but there may be shortages in, in future um, uh, are, are nurses saying we're, we're not protected or at least for now we, we've got what we need? Uh, a lot of the nurses that we speak with, uh, Francis, uh, they, they report to us that they are not being protected. Um, they are not getting the sufficient PPE being delivered at their facilities, as, uh, as well as, as in some facilities we're finding that when there is a COVID-19 case, the managers of those facilities, they are not uh, sanitizing uh, those facilities, which now leads to our members uh, declining to, to, to actually service those communities. And this is quite a huge problem that we are facing, especially in the public sector where they impl the, impl uh, the, the way that uh, the, the, the policy is being implemented by the various facility managers is not consistent. Uh, therefore, that's why we continue to engage with government at the various provincial uh, structures to ensure that uh, facility managers are implementing the policy correctly and protect the, the frontline workers uh, whenever there's a, there's a positive COVID-19 case. Yeah. Is, is your stance uh, that if nurses don't feel protected, they should not work? Yes, uh, from Hospesa, uh, that's that's what we we've taken as, as as a decision, as a resolution, that uh, we encourage all our members if they are not being provided with sufficient PPE, they should not uh, partake in in, in assisting uh, uh, within that facility. As well as when they feel that their lives are at risk, they should not partake. Uh, this is a very difficult decision to make, Francis. In that, as you know, the nursing uh, fraternity is mainly made out of uh, young women and, and and men who have devoted their lives to serve us and now when they have to uh, decline to to serve the communities mainly because they, they, they feel unprotected it's a very difficult decision for them to make but we do encourage them uh, not to put their lives at risk and for communities as well not to allow to enter into facilities where they feel that they're at risk and to be treated by health professionals that do not have the necessary PPE is for the protection of everyone that's why we are making this call but how often is that happening right now in, in facilities across South Africa? It, it's very prevalent, Francis. Uh, um, uh, just this afternoon, uh, we received reports that uh, uh, in, in the Eastern Cape, there was an incident uh, just uh, on Friday last week. There was another uh, incident that we, we were following up on in, in Limpopo, whereby uh, still there, 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 were, there were positive cases of, of, of uh, health uh, professionals who tested positive, but now the facility was not being sanitized, and also the, the, the nurses were not being 
provided with the sufficient PPE. So it's very prevalent and it's something that we constantly engage uh, with, with government to address in that it's now depriving a lot of community, uh, a lot of communities out there with the necessary health care because uh, our members will refuse to assist when, when PPE is not being provided. Yeah. Have there been infections among your members? Yes, we, we have uh, um, had cases with our members that have uh, tested positive for COVID-19, especially in the private sector. Um, we are the largest union uh, in net care. So um, when, when, when the reports came out at St. Augustine, um, we did uh, receive some news that some of our members did test positive there, as well as in other net care facilities, even at Kingsway Hospital. That's where we, we started seeing um, um, a lot of uh, our, our members uh, testing positive. Finally, I mean, it's International Nurses Day. We've been asking people for, for their messages. What would you like from the, the public, uh, some of whom are hearing negative news? Nurses don't want to work. They want more money. Um, they're holding out. Um, uh, but, but seemingly this is about health and, and safety. Yes, that's correct, Francis. I, I think to the general public, what, uh, what, what the message that we need to, to send across is that uh, the, the nurses are working in very difficult uh, conditions. Um, there's, there's, they are sometimes do not have the necessary tools uh, to assist the communities properly because it's, 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 it's the employers who are supposed to provide for that. So we plead to communities to show solidarity and support of nurses. This is a profession, it's a very difficult profession that they are in and even now we are asking them to put their lives at risk for me and you francis to to, to enjoy uh, uh, a primary health care uh, tomorrow so we, we appeal to the public to to uh, to adhere to the COVID 19 regulations to ensure that uh, we do not get an influx of patients that are coming into our health sector which is currently uh, uh, under such a huge strain uh, with regards to your staff shortages poor infrastructure as uh, i could name uh, the list is endless francis but uh, i appeal to public to bear with the nurses and to support them uh, where they can all right, thank you very much. That was a national spokesperson for the Health and Other Services Personnel a Trade Union of South Africa, or HOSPERSA, uh, the spokesperson, Kevin Halama.